Close your eyes, watch your breath. Give it 100% of your attention. Don't even listen to the Dharma talk. Let the Dharma talk be in the background. It's there to give you a few ideas. And it's there as a fence. If you leave the breath, you'll be running into the talk. And the talk is going to turn you around and head you right back to the breath. Because the Dharma is not in the words. The Dharma is in the qualities of the mind. We think of the true Dharma as the words the Buddha left behind. But where did the Buddha get the words? He got them from his own inner experience, paying full attention to what his mind was doing. And by giving it his full attention, he was able to see things that people wouldn't see if you only looked at it from the side or from a glance. Or if you squeeze the issues of the mind into one little corner and went about your other business. You've got to give this your full attention. Now, you can't give it full attention all day long. But right now you're sitting here, you have no other responsibilities. So just be with the breath. Any other thoughts that come into the mind, you can let them go, no matter how important they are, no matter how interesting or entertaining. Tell them yourself they mean nothing right now. What means something is your experience of the mind settling in, your awareness being still being undisturbed. As a John Swat used to say, when there's disturbance in your meditation, take that as an instance of suffering. Something you want to comprehend to the point of not being interested in it, letting it go. It's because we latch on to things that we get disturbed. Otherwise the sound can go right through, thoughts can go right through, like the breeze going through a window. But if you have a cloth covering the window, okay, the cloth is going to catch the breeze. And then it's going to get disturbed. So the window, though, isn't disturbed at all, because there's, there's nothing there to disturb. No, no attachments of any kind. So just let everything pass, pass, pass right by as you hold on to this stillness of mind. And you'll see that there will be some things that the mind will pick up. In each case, you have to ask yourself, why? When you give the mind your full attention like this, you're going to learn an awful lot about it. And as the Buddha said, when people gain awakening, there's no difference in their awakening. The path there may vary from person to person heavy on the insight side for some people, heavy on the tranquility side for other people. But the attainment, once it's attained, is all the same. They may speak different languages, but the attainment is there. Because the Dharma is not in the words, it's in the experience. So focus on your experience right here, right now. When you give it this quality of full attention, that's when you get to see the Dharma too. As John Munn used to say, it's proclaiming itself 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Simply that we're not listening, we're not watching. That's why we miss it. But if we pay attention, we're sure to pick it up. <laughs>